All right, guys, went well, back today with another set of high value and budget digital night vision, and this one has actually become my favorite. I'm going to break down why, all of its specs and features, but this is actually the Bob Love, and I don't quite know how to pronounce it, set of digital night vision. This is a newer set of digital night vision that I found on Amazon. These guys sent it out to me three or four weeks ago to try out. I finally got around to using it. And man, was I blown away. There really are some improvements and innovations over previous designs I've reviewed. And this really takes the cake, especially for the price. Now, this one comes in at $180 with free prime delivery. Again, bringing it well under that $200 price point, And it's really awesome. Now you're saying, well, you just did a, a digital CQB night vision. You called that the best CQB night vision. And I stand behind that. These are two different categories. So that CQB night vision was a 1X type of magnification or no magnification, meaning you could helmet mount it, walk around the yard, walk around your house and use it for CQB shooting, airsoft, things like that. This is something different. This one has an optical magnification already built in, meaning you can't go below 2X. So this already stop, starts off at a 2X magnification. This is nice for scanning fields, looking at night vision for a distance, maybe two, even 250 yards potentially with this stuff. And depending on the lighting conditions and what you're dealing with, you can really use this close up and far away, but you're not going to be able to really helmet mount this or walk around with it or use it for any type of like head mounted shooting. And that's just not going to work. So that's why it's in a different category. And in fact, this has no mounting up top, but it does come with a mount to mount it to a tripod on the bottom. And this is going to allow you again to mount it to a tripod, scan a field for hunting, things like that. And once you uh, find what you're looking for, then you can switch to your night vision scope or something like that and hunt that way. But again, this is more of a mid-range style night vision optic, and I absolutely love it. So let's talk about those specs and features and how it did using it in and around the house. So the first thing I want to discuss is what you would really use this for, and we already mentioned. Maybe you're scanning land that you own, you're scanning fields or property lines that you own. Maybe you're going hunting and you want to scan a field for varmint, and you want something that you can kind of hold on to and see before you take your shots. This is going to be a great option. Now, I'm going to show you guys the back of the box so you can get all the specs and features and pause it if you want to read that. And then from there, we'll dig into some more details so you guys can pause it and read it if you want. And now we'll kind of go over all those specs and features. Now, this is one of the, the Bob Love night vision binoculars. And this is the first time I've tried it. Again, they sent it over to the channel for us to try out. I've been using it now for about three or four weeks, and I'm really impressed with the quality. Now, on their Amazon listing, they call this the new mold night vision. I don't know what that means, but I've never seen this type of housing before. All of the other digital night vision I've reviewed has similar housings. This one follows the same form feature, but it looks a little bit different. It is still that cheaper plastic, though, but it does have this very nice rubberized eyepiece and a nose piece, and that is a pretty nice enhancement. Now, digital night vision, you're actually looking at a screen that's embedded in here. The power button and all the controls work really well. They're easy to use, and they actually they fit really well with your hands right here. They're even angled for your hands, um, your, your pointer finger and the next finger, so that's pretty slick right there. To turn it on, you can just simply power it up. You don't have to worry about powering up in the day because you are just looking through here and you're looking at an LCD screen. So it doesn't matter if you use this in the day or night. You've got your IR settings. You can click right here through three different IR settings, which is really nice. And then it's got the daytime setting. It also has the record feature. And then it has that digital zoom. So you can go from the 2X to the 4X to the 8X. So that is pretty interesting if you want to zoom in on something to record. Now, right off the bat, this is some of the clearest I've ever used. Uh, when I talked about some of the other digital night visions in the past, sometimes it can be a little bit grainy, but a lot of them worked pretty well. But this one just works better. It seems like there are a lot of improvements, and that is one of them. It's a much more clear image quality, and when you upload it to your computer, it actually fills out the screen better. So I like it. It's got more pixels. It just gathers more information a lot better. And again, if you want those exact specs and features, you can go on their Amazon listing or look on the back of this box when you paused it. 
and really compare it with other ones out there. You know, I've only reviewed a handful and there's probably 20 different versions on Amazon, but this seems to be the best, but you can compare those specs. But for $180 with free prime shipping, this is some of the best I've ever reviewed under $200 for that mid-tier category. Now, it also has uh, auto-adjusting brightness settings when it comes to kind of what you're looking at. So you can see when I'm looking out to the tree line from my backyard, about 125 yards and there's no obstructions, it's going to really amplify that light and allow you to see every subtle detail you can see in the intro. We followed some deer. Those deer were at 150 yards and we could easily make them out with this set of digital night vision. But then when we pull in close, it's gonna be really bright, really fast, but then it's gonna auto dim and adjust looking at my building, which is only 15 yards away. You can also see in the intro when we're looking through glass, this actually goes through glass very easily and you can see through the glass and into my building. So that's very convenient as well. This one takes eight AA batteries and it's got a runtime of about 10 hours, give or take the IR illumination factor. It also records onto an SD card, which is really convenient if you're recording hunts or things like that, or even doing some nighttime shooting. This is going to record all of that, or if you're just kind of seeing what's out there on your property, you can always record that. Or for surveillance, if you're doing surveillance, you can record things maybe out of your car window, something like that. You can record and use this for surveillance. It also has the ability to attach it to an external power supply or also pull the information off with a USB cord. So that is really convenient as well. Not only that, but it works really well. It doesn't freeze up or lag. I actually brought this out in the freezing cold. I've had some of the other digital night visions. Uh, they don't really like below freezing. Um, they work, you know, you gotta kinda keep them in your car and pull them out, but this one seemed to do good. I don't have specs or guarantees or anything like that, but I did bring it out on uh, the other night to kind of look at a meteor shower, and it was pretty darn cold, and these did fine. They were out there for about 10 or 15 minutes looking in the field, looking up at the sky, and they did very good. So in summary, guys, if you're looking for something with a good wide field of view, uh, this one has a 400 meter detection range. It's got a just a high quality image, I like it. I really like it a ton. And I know there's going to be specific questions about field of view and different types of pixels and refresh rates and things like that, but you can go online. They've got a ton of information. They lay it all out so you can compare other things. But just from a, I don't know, um, an opinion perspective or from my personal perspective of using this, this is some of the best I've ever used, that mid-range category with that automatic 2x digital or 2x optical zoom and the digital zoom i absolutely love it i can definitely recommend it i'll leave all the links and information in the description below and i'm calling this one of the best sets of mid-range digital night vision for under 200 dollars. so i hope you guys like the video i hope it gives you another high value option and if you guys like these night vision videos, go back and check out my other ones. But right now I'm recommending this one for my mid-range night vision and that other one that I recently did a review on for that CQB, that uh, no magnification night vision that you can helmet mount and walk around. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.